Hello everyone, I am Shine and you are watching Civil Engineering Tips channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about another shallow foundation that is strap footing. Strap footing is a special type of combined footing used for two spread footings which are connected by a rigid beam called as strap beam. It is very similar to combined footing with certain additional parameters. Now let's talk about strap beam which is the most important topic for strap footing. Strap beam is infinitely rigid. It is not subjected to any direct soil pressure below. It is pure flexural member and does not take soil reaction. It does not remain in contact with soil. It is constructed slightly above soil. Strap beam transfers the load from one column to another. It does not have the role to transfer load to soil. Now let's talk about when do we use strap footing. It is very useful when the distance between two columns is long. Where a regular combined footing is expensive due to large excavation work, we use strap footing. In those cases, it is better and cheaper to design a strap footing instead. Now let's discuss about the basic principle of strap footing. The basic principle of design of a strap footing is that the footing areas under the columns are proportioned such that the pressure under two footings are equal and uniform and the center of gravity of the loads coincides with the center of gravity of the footings. When an exterior column is close to property line, the footing that supports the column would be eccentric and it will tend to tilt and overturn. This problem can be prevented if we connect this exterior footing with next adjacent interior column and footing. We use a strap beam for this purpose. The complete system is called strap footing system. Now I will demonstrate you the complete construction process of strap footing. First of all, we will excavate the footing area including the strap brim area. Then we will perform sand filling and compact the area very nicely. Then we will give there a plain cement concrete layer. Now we are ready to place the reverse but before that we have to place cover blocks to maintain clear cover for footing. Now we are ready to place the bottom reverse for footing number one then we will place the transverse bottom reverse of footing on similarly we will place the reverse for footing two now we will place the vertical column river for first column and second column also now it's time to bind the stirrups for first column and second column also. Now it's time to place the reverse for strap beam. Before that we have to place cover block in strap beam area. At first we will place the bottom river of strap beam. Then we will place the torsion or face river for strap beam. Then we will place the top river of strap beam. Now we will bind the stirrups for strap beam. Now we can place the top river of our footing. As you can see now we are ready to perform casting. Before that we have to place the shutterings or formwork of footings and strap beam and column. First of all we will place the shuttering for our footings. Then we will pour concrete inside our footing area. After that we will go for shutterings for strap beam and column also. Then we will pour concrete inside our strap beam. And finally, we will pour concrete inside our columns. This way, we can construct a strap footing. So, this is all for today and this is all for strap footing. See you in the next video.